Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video a series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything that dropped in week one of Palace's winter 2023 collection but before I start talking about week one I've got to talk about you guys because you're fantastic people and you deserve the absolute praise that I'm going to give you because I don't deserve it, but you guys have been very helpful nonetheless. Uh, what I wanted to come out and just quickly thank you for was helping the channel reach the subscriber milestone of 3,715 subscribers before the end of last month. Um, I asked in September if we could hit 3,715. You guys said, Daniel, you're not covering week one on time. You're going away somewhere. You're not doing your job. We'll support you anyway. <laughs> and you came through. So I wanted to thank you for it. I wanted to thank you for uh, the constant support. I wanted to thank the public and private subscribers for subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys for 3715. And uh, yeah, I'm. It, it, it was awesome to see that when I came back from uh, my little trip to see that milestone being reached. So thank you guys. Um, hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach the next subscriber milestone that I'll set of 3,720. Um, hopefully with your support, we can hit that before the end of the month. Hey yeah, guys, so I, I'll fill you in because I don't want to keep you in the dark. So what happened was is last Thursday, I went on a trip to Melbourne to go to a music festival and also do a bunch of shopping around Melbourne at a bunch of boutiques, you know, a lot of archive stores, things like that. So that was why in the last drop list video for Supreme, I was talking about that, look, unless Palace drops, well, sorry, unless Max Merch more drops uh, the week one drop list before Friday when I leave, I can't cover week one on time and unfortunately like I was uh like I was uh, in Melbourne on the Friday and saw the post pop up on the Friday and I was like eh, well unfortunately I can't cover it in time but I still felt like I needed to give you guys an explanation on why I couldn't cover it and cover it eventually hence the video today and I feel like everything this week is also going to be delayed. Um, I'll try and get the other Palace videos talking about the collaboration and the drop list for week two covered as well. But I do also have like a lot of other content coming as well now that I've gone to Melbourne because, you know, obviously I've done a little pickup here and there and stuff like that. So there's just a lot going on. I think the video timeline that we're going to be looking at moving forward is winter week one. Supreme week seven, um, I'll do Palace collaboration, Palace week two, and then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, um, I've got some footage that I could like mash together to kind of make a vlog with me talking about my trip over there. I think you guys might enjoy that. And then I'll cover um, in that video, like what I picked up from Melbourne and also um to showcase like two pieces that i've also got to unbox as well like do you see what i mean like i've got so much going on <laughs> but i will get through it all we'll get through it all together so we got a lot going on but um i just thought i'd keep you guys in the loop but uh yeah in today's video uh we'll just be covering week one everything that released in that i don't think i'll use a max merch more instagram post to cover week one uh, I think I'll just go to the Palace online store and we can kind of just like skim through it and I'll talk about some highlights uh, for the week. I think that's just the best way to go about it for week one, but I'll do a more in-depth take for week two for sure. But uh, let's just get into it, guys. Let's dive in and start having a look at the pieces that released in week one of Palace's winter 23 season. Here we are at the Palace store page covering what is dropping or what dropped in week one. How I'm doing that is just by clicking on the new section in the store page and we'll go through at least most of the pieces and kind of talk about them. Um, it released on the 29th of September. 
um, and it released at all the standard drop times for week one. Uh, it also dropped on the Saturday for Japan and China, but I just thought I'd mention those quite quickly for the release details. Let's dive into week one and start covering what we got. So obviously we got the big heavy hitting palace flying jacket. Uh, this was 1500 pounds. So that's like $3,000 Australian. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm all right. I love the jacket. It's fantastic. But I think I could spend that money elsewhere and be much more happier. <laughs> But a fantastic piece to drop this season. We've got the uh, Rip Stop Puffer Jacket coming in. Uh, the all over print design from that artist. And just a couple solid color offerings as well. Very nice. We've got a hardware hooded workwear jacket coming in a variety of different colors. A very solid piece as well. We've got... The micro jacket coming in a couple solid colors, very lovely. We've got the Palace Hardware Vest coming in two colors. We've got the Chill Cardigan, which I was very keen on uh, when I saw it in the lookbook, but I was actually more keen on it in just some solid colors instead of an animal print. Really happy they released it in some solid colors, but I think the only one realistically I'd want is the black because of the versatility, but... Uh, yeah, I think the extra large one has sold out because I've, I've checked it out. We've then got the Argyle Knit Vest, which came in its two colors. I actually think the navy and orange is really nice. It's a really nice knit. Like you could wear that in a very heritage styled outfit, or you could simply just wear white button up shirt, simple tie, simple pants, simple shoes, and this would be the piece that goes over the top of it. I could totally see myself rocking exactly that outfit in the workplace, in the office, absolutely. Uh, next, we've got the hardware insulated shirt. I thought these were gonna be insulated. Uh, 158 pounds though, sheesh. Uh, we've got the Bollywood star shirt. We've got another shirt with that print. A lot of the prints being featured on jeans as well, uh, but I would much rather just go for like some stone washed ones. We've got the indigo. We've got a bleached pair, which is very, well, yeah, I'd say it's a different wash from the stone. We've got some palace over trousers on uh, a couple different color offerings there. We've then got the hardware work pants to match the jacket. We've got some cargoes to match the jacket as well. We've got the inserto uh, hoodie and sweatpants combo. I think this could be some. This could be a really nice sweatsuit combo and something that I could see myself rocking like on a flight somewhere. We've got it coming in a brown, a black, a pink. We've got the unisex hood in a Huntsman. I actually really like the shape of this hoodie. Uh, maybe it's just how the product image is, but I really just like the shape of it. It looks quite short and quite um, wide. Very nice. Comes with some matching sweatpants as well. Um, comes in a sand, a navy, a gray, a black, some very solid color offerings. We've got the fleece P liner. We've got the black um, fleece P liner coming in a navy as well. The hardware hood, which I feel like if you're buying the hooded jacket, what's the point of the hoodie? But each to their own, I suppose. Uh, we've got a reversible P3 uh, crew neck coming in a couple color offerings here. We've got some long sleeves, a couple of graphic tees. I think the graphic tees are my favorite um, collaboration with that artist. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably my favorite just because it's the most versatile. We've got the Katana... Uh, Katano t-shirt coming in a black and a couple other colors. I don't mind it in the black, actually. We've got the Lover t-shirt. Probably not for me. We've got the Transparency t-shirt, which has someone uh, very transparent with no pants, um, rocking a little palace outfit and uh, leaning on the palace logo there. We've got a Tri Void t-shirt, which... That is what it is, I suppose. Palace Hardware Pocket Shirt. That could be, that's a nice pocket shirt. I, I would wear something like that. I could see myself wearing the black or the white. We've got the, just the t-shirt. Very boxy cut of that. Look at the, the product image difference. We've got the hardware tee. Doesn't look that wide. But then we've got the hunts, like the unisex t-shirt. 
very wide, which in all honesty, I think wide t-shirts look a lot nicer on me. So this would be something that I would be interested in. And I love that it comes in all these really versatile colors. Very nice work, Palace. That's a very nice t-shirt. I might actually have to look into the black and white ones. We've got the uh, Politech Cordura mask. Um, which has a bucket hat attached to it. It came in a variety of different colors. We've also got a uh, cap version as well. We've got, we've got a New Era, uh, the New Era Dog Ear LP 5950. Um, that is, that's something, I'll tell you what. We've got the micro ear flap. We've got the six panel. We've got a hardware trucker. We've got a New Era um, beanie. That's a quite nice beanie, actually. We got some gloves, a scarf, some socks, a nice studded belt. That's kind of cool. A Holy Grail necklace, a couple bags, umbrella. Um, looks like a oh, stackable tumblers. Okay, nice, nice. We've got a couple pins as well, stickers and all the boards and <laughs> that's kind of cool the hardware allen key bolts and everything like that that's fun I, that, that's a nice way to tie off all the hardware pieces there but um yeah all in all um it was a very very big week very expected though week one is always the biggest week the pieces that i really want to shout out are the unisex pieces i think they're really cool i really like the the like a uh, basic or essentials take that palace has done there some of the graphic tees were cool um some of the hoodies were cool we've got some nice pants shout out to the knit vest i think that's a very nice piece this week and obviously the flying jacket is going to be uh potentially one of my favorite pieces of the season but i am not making that kind of money to be able to just drop it on that jacket and i feel like a lot of us are in the same boat because i think if i click on this jacket it has all the sizes available let's check it out yep <laughs> <laughs> maybe like over time celebrities will slowly buy up like all the other sizes but uh yeah can't see myself unless i suddenly get uh tens to hundreds of thousands of subscribers suddenly subscribing and watching the channel uh me buying this piece uh because yeah that is very expensive but one detail that i thought that was quite cool with this jacket was the 3m detailing i thought that was quite cool but uh yeah well that is everything releasing in well that released in week one guys i'd love to hear from you guys and have that conversation in the comment section below uh on what you got but um uh, let's just start off with a conversation about how you felt about week one did you like week one did you not like week one um let me know let me know all your thoughts and opinions on week one down in that comment section below well guys that is everything released in week one as mentioned it released on the 29th of september um or two well one day later on the saturday um we covered all the individual pieces releasing in the week and my thoughts and opinions on the week and my favorite pieces now i want to hear from you guys did you pick anything up from week one i obviously didn't i was over in melbourne doing uh, well a lot of other things <laughs> but uh yeah no i I'm, I'm still interested to have that conversation with you guys in the comment section below on what you picked up and what you're interested in uh let me know what you grabbed down in that comment section below and of course if you guys want to keep covering um upcoming palace collaborations upcoming palace seasons upcoming palace releases you got to give me the three indicators i always ask you for which is a like on this video a comment in that comment section down below and if you haven't already the best indicator you can give me is subscribe to the channel uh if you have already subscribed to the channel tell a couple mates because as i mentioned at the start of this video we are trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone now of 3720 subscribers so hopefully with your guys continuous support we can reach that milestone before the end of october but that's everything i got to say about week one though guys sorry i couldn't cover it in time it's just the unfortunate timing of like when the stuff actually was released to us or showcased to us and my trip and everything like that yeah it's it's honestly put everything behind but that's okay like i'll catch up that's what i'm going to use this weekend for instead of resting and getting rid of this flu that you might be able to notice that i have uh i'm going to be making a lot of content 
<laughs> we'll see how that all goes guys but uh yeah i hope you managed to pick up anything that you wanted from week one in the size and color you're after but until the next palace video until the next drop list video until the next streetwear talk video in general i'll catch you later